Hello viewers. As I told you that on Virtuoso palette, the last video on tie and dye was on the subcontinent Indo-Pak design of chunri. So I have tied the fabric in the same way. For those who have not been watching Virtuoso palette, I'll tell you that I used chickpea lentils, these, and after folding the fabric, I had put the lentil from this side and holding it firmly from here, I tied a knot using the thread like this. This is how I have tied the fabric. In the last video, the pattern was only in one color, mono color. So today I will show you how you can add more colors to your design, to your patterns, to create more attractive patterns and design. The pan with hot boiling water is already there and I have prepared green color how by adding a salt by adding a full teaspoon salt in the boiling water and then I added half teaspoon of powdered dye in the water so the dye is almost ready always wear gloves to save your hands from the steam from the dyes now I'll hold the fabric from here and tell you something that to make more attractive design you can also tie it from the middle it will give you another impression another design so let's tie it from the middle now it is easier to hold it from one side and I'm putting it in the boiling dye and use my tongue here and let's dip it well in the dye leave it for a while let the water boil with the dye so the color is absorbed well in the fabric leave it only for two to three minutes then you know that we have another bowl of water with normal temperature and taking out the fabric we'll dip it in this water so that it leaves the excess amount of dye in the water it's almost done I'll switch off the flame this is the green color we wanted now I'm dipping it in the water now let's wait for another color another boiling dye for the rest of the fabric the dye we used the green color you can see it's here but obviously I'm not going to untie the fabric the rest of the fabric is ready to be dipped in red dye it's almost boiled so I'll be putting it and if it is a little difficult for me to hold the fabric then I'll use the tongue just the way we dipped it in the green dye for two to three minutes you have to hold it using the tongue the more you dip you will have more vibrant color the tone will be more vibrant remember viewers that if you're using cotton for dyeing it should be unstarched because when you buy this fabric from the market mostly it is starched we are going to repeat the same pattern that we have a bowl of water with normal temperature and as soon as you are satisfied with the dye you have the tone the color of tone i turned it off the flame and this is the color we have achieved and i'm dipping it in the water with normal temperature leave it for a minute or so and then we'll be untying the fabric you as i must share it with you that the dyeing process I've been doing is not that focused as you must have noticed the folds and the tying thing that is more important and I've been mentioning earlier that if you are fond of origami if you even take interest in origami 
Your folds will be more beautiful and you'll have lovely tie and dye patterns. It's the major thing is to fold and to tie the fabric. That is why in my videos, folding and tying is more focused on which user palette. Now it's almost time to take out the fabric from the water. Rinse and squeeze. Now it is easily manageable. It's not that hot. I'm taking off my gloves so that I handle the untying easily. The last pattern in the last video, in the previous video, was with one color. And this one is with two colors. You must remember that after tying the fabric with the chickpea lantos, I had tied it from the middle also, so that you have another impression, another design or pattern in this fabric other than the lentil pattern. Patience is all you require while tying and untying the fabric. These handmade designs are famous all around the world only because it needs lots of patience and originality of the design is very unique every piece is the masterpiece you can say now it's still folded let's unfold the fabric to reveal the original design now you can see this design here is with the thread I had tied in the end. The Chunri design in two colors with the base color obviously. You can add as many colors as you want according to your own desire. See you soon on Virtues of Palette. Stay tuned.